Uh, Twyla, thank you for the opportunity to come up here and talk to you guys about uh, my path and how I came to accept the gift that Christ has for all of us. Um, a lot of folks, at least in my experience, a lot of folks, the way they end up coming to Christ is sometimes something bad happens or a lot of bad things happen. They kind of, they have to be broken and they have to be hurt and they have to be in despair sometimes in order for them to finally look up to Christ. <clears throat> and I don't know everybody who's ever come to Christ, but I've got to imagine that that's a lot of folks and that's how it ends up happening. In my case, it's a little different. Um, I was raised in a Lutheran church, but I never, never accepted Christ till I was 31. And I'm much older than that now. Um, and uh, in, that, in that time, when I was in college and up until I was 31 years old, the way in which I was trying to find fulfillment was in everything this world has to offer. So I was trying to you know, do really well in school, trying to go to graduate school, trying to run marathons, trying to climb the face of Half Dome, trying to do a lot of real big things that are big things in this world. And I started to accomplish a lot of things and I started to feel pretty good about myself. But then after a while, I realized that no matter how many things I accomplished, no matter what sort of job I got and how much money I made and how much prestige there was and what goal I accomplished, it was empty. There was nothing. And so, and oftentimes people I would imagine go their whole lives and everything goes their way and that's so distracting and that's so appealing and that seems to be satisfying, even though it's, it's hollow, that they never have an opportunity to see Christ because they're so distracted by that. I feel blessed because despite all of that, at the end of it, I stood there with all of this great stuff and all, these, all this great resume, and I just sat there and thought, there's nothing here for me in the middle of all this. There's nothing here for me. That's how I was broken. That's how I realized there's got to be more than this. So, I mean, if, you're, if, if life's really, really rough, or you're somewhere in the middle and what you're what you're striving for is a, a better car or more money or a better house I can tell you from experience you can go ahead and get all that it's not it's never gonna be enough the Bible says the flesh is never satisfied and that's what that's talking about you're without Christ you will never be satisfied and so what I can tell you is that when I finally had this realization in the months leading up to it, I was really stressed out, had a lot of things going on at work that really, really stressed me out. And, uh, and it was because I was putting so much value. I was, I was practicing idolatry. I was idolizing my job and, and I, that's where I got my self-worth, my job and my prestige and the money I made and all that. And then after I accepted Christ, I was just as busy afterward, but I had peace, finally. I realized that what matters in this world, what matters in terms of how God sees me, has nothing to do with any of that stuff. And what I did was I turned my worship from work and prestige and money and all those things that we all think about, I turned my, my, my worship from that and I put it on Christ. And then I realized there is my fulfillment. There was no fulfillment before then. And it was just emptiness. And I can tell you, in the several years since I've accepted Christ, you know, I'm like everybody else I walk and I, I, I worship the world every once in a while. That still happens and that's a battle that Paul says we're gonna have to, for the rest of our lives until we die. Chris was talking about that. You're gonna, you're gonna be dealing with that, you know, working on it, perfection, till, till the day you die and you become perfect. But now that I've accepted Christ, I have the hope of that eternity. The day before I accepted Christ, there was no hope, there was nothing. I was just gonna live this life, accumulate stuff, be important, and then die, and that was gonna be it. And that was gonna happen in the blink of an eye. Now that I've accepted Christ, I have to an opportunity to look all the way into eternity, and I get to be with God forever. And I'm gonna be perfect, and there's not gonna be any pain, it's not gonna be any suffering, it's not gonna be any sadness, and that's all available to me now, now that I've accepted Christ. The day before I did, none of that was available to me. I had to say yes, and it's that simple, just simply saying yes. Thanks for the opportunity to share.